uh, late last night, uh, Houston Public Works uh, took, took about 30 samples. Um, these were samples that were not approved by TCEQ, but they wanted to start testing the water um, as quickly as possible. Um, and then this morning, uh, at about 8 a.m., a little before 8 a.m., TCEQ approved uh, the City of Houston sampling plan. That was approved at about a little before 8 o'clock uh, this morning. And the way the protocols operate, it takes those samples have to lay out, so to speak, for about 18 hours. Uh, so we anticipate, um, and, and there are 43 samples coming from different areas, okay? TC, TCEQ asks us to test 43 different locations, and we have pulled samples from 43 different locations, and those samples are currently in the Houston Laboratory Lab. They will lay out for the 18 hours, and the 18 hours will come up uh, about 7 a.m. tomorrow. So until, until, and we are anticipating positive results and the unapproved samples uh, that, that we've looked at, tested, the chlorine level, for example, was, was normal, was fine. Um, so we anticipate that the, that the results will be positive, uh, but those um, when test sample results will not be available until sometime around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's at that point in time uh, those results will be passed on to TCEQ and uh, it's my understanding that they will be working tomorrow morning waiting to receive those samples and if everything is normal uh, then it's at that point in time that the boiling, boiling water notice will be lifted and we can go back to normal operations. And until then, uh, we remain under a boiling water notice. That's, that's the requirement, and it takes about 18 hours for any of these samples to lay out. That's just a normal protocol to make sure that there's no uh, bacteria that's in, that's in these water, in the water.